Hi, I'm Sarah from SewingMastery.com, and I have just spent the last couple of weeks filming all the free video tutorials for the Singer SE 9180 machine. And I am gonna give you my honest review of this machine. I do not work for Singer. I just have a YouTube channel that that's what we do. We give away information that will help you be the best user of this machine. So we take every page of the manual, we do a short video on each, uh, technique and actually each stitch and each foot and the embroidery because this is a sewing and combination machine. Now I'm going to get into some of the highlights, things that I enjoyed, but I also want to just remind you that if you are looking at reviews, and I did just yesterday because I knew I was going to be doing this video, is to see what other people were saying about this machine. And I was very saddened by what I was reading. So yes, whenever you go and look at reviews, keep this in mind. Those of us that are home using this machine because we like it, yeah, we're home using it. We're not out there writing reviews of how awful it is. We're home using it. And I think that's what sometimes skews people's thoughts about a product. I had absolutely no problem with this machine. I put it through all my paces that I would normally do for a multi-thousand dollar sewing and embroidery machine. I did everything that I had wanted to do on this machine and it's a very affordable, easy to use, but that's the key. A sewing machine is just not like any appliance that you plug in. Like I can go to the store and buy a fancy microwave, but nobody needs to give me lessons on how to use a microwave. I put it in and the food comes out warmer, okay? Or cooked, or the popcorn popped, okay? But a sewing machine is totally different. It is not like any other appliance that you have at home. So keep it in mind that the things that make a sewing machine work or not work, or maybe pe or make people like think that it's an awful machine is because they don't know how to use it. So that's why I do these tutorials. And if you go through our entire playlist of sewing videos and then embroidery videos, you will know this machine inside and out. You'll also need to do this more than once. So just because you do it once and it works and then you do it again and it doesn't, doesn't mean it's the machine's fault. What did you change? Did you use a different fabric? Are you using quality thread? We talk about the importance of cleaning and taking care of the machine, which is one more video that we did so you know how to do this and why you should actually have your sewing machine cleaned on a regular basis. Like every year you have your car serviced on a regular basis, right? So why not have your soy machine? Now it is something that we don't normally think of. We just, in this society, we throw it away and buy another one. This is not something that you throw away, but you can get better at it. One of the classes that we do teach, it's an online course, is Machine Embroidery 101. It's everything you need to know before you start embroidering, and it's a four hour online course. Okay, things about stabilizer, things about thread, what happens when your bobbin runs out in the middle of an embroidery design. I mean, those are things, that's everything you need to know in a pretty, package with a bow on top and something that you'll go back and I always encourage people to watch the videos more than once. Now I do want to get into a couple of the highlights of this machine. Number one, I love the size and um, the fact that it's both sewing and embroidery and how quickly I could easily just slide off kind of the extra extension area and then slide on the embroidery unit. Switching the foot out, lowering the feed dogs, and I'm ready to embroider. So without taking up a lot of space. Now, I know a lot of you are looking for an affordable embroidery machine. I, this is actually a great one to take a look at. Your hoop size, you can do so much in this hoop. And some of the extra features, being that Singer and Husqvarna Viking and Faf are actually all under the same umbrella. And we sell at our retail store, Husqvarna Viking, Faf, we sell Bernina. As well, we do surgery. I mean, I can do just about any sewing machine comparison that's needed here. And so in my mind, those are the machines, the features I'm used to. So when I see a lot of those features actually on this little affordable machine, I got very excited. Um, the built-in embroidery designs, the built-in fonts, the fact that I can use the free font online software, and yes, it's free included with this purchase, to create even more fonts. Those are things that have been on the Husqvarna Viking and Fox side 
forever. And so this machine doesn't have 10 fonts, it has unlimited embroiderable fonts. So again, check out those videos to see if that's something that would be exciting for you. And yes, in every description, we always have where you can take um, a look at some of our online courses. And in our online courses, we always have video lessons that you can watch for free to see if that course is right for you. So you can always know what you're buying before you buy it. But this is actually one of our most popular online courses. It's called our Embroidery Essentials course. And that helps you master, it's not about the quilt, it's about the techniques that you learn. And every block makes you re-hoop, start again, start the process, pull up the design, do the steps, and learn something each time. Kind of, I always think of a book like, remember the choose your own adventure books that we had when we were young? I remember those. And you would, everybody had a different adventure. And this um, online course reminds me of that because you learn something here and then you do the same exact thing and it's the repetition of doing the techniques over and over, but each technique is slightly different and then you learn something new and you keep on going. And yes, you can put it together in a little quilt or learn again all the buttons, all the features of your machine. Okay, that's number one. Ah, before I get going even further, now I have actually started this for myself. Anytime I'm watching YouTube videos, and I've had to like force myself to do it because it's true, I need to, before I go on to the next video, I need to like that video. So before you go any further, make sure you're clicking like. And on all 40 plus videos, I, I know I have more, I haven't got the total number here, that we've done on this machine, make sure you're clicking like. That's a way to say thank you for the free information and you can always come back and rewatch them as many times as you like. Okay, um, the other thing that I do find is, okay, this is something Singer won't tell you, but like I said, the, the Singer, Husqvarna Viking, and Faf are all under the same umbrella, is the last couple of machines I've done videos on, I've noticed that the accessory feet are the same as the Husqvarna Viking. So, yes, you can buy a handful of feet with the Singer label, but there are additional Husqvarna feet you might like, and you can go into a Husqvarna Viking store. You can get your sewing machine serviced at any sewing machine store, honestly, that has um, technicians on staff, they'll help you. But you can walk into a Viking store and buy feet. Now, I will tell you that not all employees will know this. So if you're unsure, you think you're gonna be questioned, just take one of your regular feet from this and go, see, it's the same. And, Yes, they just buy them. Don't even tell them which machine you have. Just go in. You can buy extra feet. Now, I do love decorative stitches, and this machine had a ton of them built in. We talk about doing a stitch book and stitching them out because they look so cool. But one of our other courses has no embroidery whatsoever, and that is our Stitching Cosmos online course. So let's say you go through all these videos, and you're like, oh my gosh, I've learned so much, and now what? I want to do more. And you love accessories. This will be a great place for you to explore other feet. You don't have to buy them before you do the course. You can buy them as you do the course and then learn which ones you actually will use and then buy the ones you need. You also can do a lot of the techniques without the feet. So why not play around and invest in more of your learning because this machine will handle so, so much. So if you're ready to immerse yourself in learning this machine, it's gonna take time. It took me a couple of weeks just, well, number one, to get all the videos done and edited, but it took me time to, okay, the button's here, the screen changes to this, I do this first before I do this. I had to learn this machine, so I know what it feels like for learning the machine from scratch. Now granted, I do have a base of understanding and knowledge. Um, back to other reviews, I heard people say they were breaking needles. Let me just troubleshoot a little bit. If you're breaking three needles in the last five minutes, you're doing something wrong. Stop doing that. You're gonna need to take a look if the, the thread is getting caught on the spool cap. Or maybe it just needs to be cleaned out down below and um, what's breaking the needle is sometimes having like extra thread down there that's getting caught and then pulled and then jammed and it just doesn't work. So, so many times people blame tension. Oh my gosh, the sewing machine's tension's awful. I hate this machine. And you know what? It's probably because you're using 50 year old thread from grandma and you need to treat your machine with a better quality thread. So if you have some amazing thread boxes, I know 
There's some really pretty thread kits that you can buy online and they look like a great deal, but they're actually not always the great deal. So sometimes that thread is actually causing your problem. So try some other thread. Those are things that people don't think about and they just blame the machine and think it's a lemon, but realizing that there's so much more to sewing in a sewing machine that you need to actually learn and have a base before you actually start to learn how the machine will be used with as you change from project to project. So those are just things to think about. Um, we do get into a lot of this information in the free videos. You will learn so much, but just remember, watch each one of them and they will get you going. We do the sewing machine videos first and the embroidery videos second. I, I said that this is a very affordable machine and I, I really say that. If you think about driving a simple car, for example, we all get in the car, every car has four wheels, and we all end up at the destination that we're going to. And it doesn't matter the car. Um, some cars go a little slower, some cars go a little faster. It, if It's not about racing there and being the, the prettiest and the flashiest. This machine is gonna get you to the results that you're looking for. Maybe it's not as fast as the $10,000, $15,000 machines that are on the market. It's okay. It's going to do a great job, but you do need to take the time to learn the basics, understand, practice, practice the sewing side and practice the embroidery side and take advantages of some maybe classes that are in your area by some, and it doesn't have to be from a Singer store. If, if uh, the local Bernina store is hosting an embroidery event and they say all brands are welcome, show up with your machine with some understanding and you will enjoy doing that particular project. You might just double check the hoop size needed for the projects, for example, but you will find that so much is similar from machine to machine and you can enjoy all that education as well. On a side note, Craftsy is another place I love to recommend for people to take online courses and then you can do everything at your own pace. Okay, going back to a few things, also in the Singer box is a free three-month access subscription to the MySoNet library and also the software. And so we get into what that is and you can go to mysonet.com website to learn more, but just know when you're ready for that, there's an access code that you get with this machine. Keep that close by and when you're ready, you can dive into all of that. That is something I always encourage people to do, but I know most people don't do it. So I hope you will, um, but just learn the basics practice, immerse yourself, as I was just listening to a podcast, and you know, you can learn a language in high school, but if you were dropped into the middle of Italy for 90 days with no extra help, you're gonna learn the language a lot first, faster. So I guide you to try immersing yourself in the education for this machine, and I think you'll do Wonderful. So with that, I wish you well. Check out all the videos. Make sure you're clicking like every time you watch it. That totally helps, not just on our channel, but other channels as well. So I leave you with uh, hopefully the skills you need to successfully use this amazing sewing and embroidery machine going forward. And you can always reach out with questions at info at sewingmastery.com if you have questions. I hope to see you in one of our online classes soon.